and platinum. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to put action replay codes onto your R4. First, you put your memory card into the um, SD and plug it into your computer. Then you're gonna have this. Open your files. Should have um, all of these folders and stuff in your R4. Then go to system. This is what you're supposed to have in there. Make sure you um, download the cheat code editor and put your user cheat file in there too. Then open the cheat code editor once you finish downloading. And it should look something like this. I'm going to show you what I have in there. And I'm going to tell you how to put the codes in. First, you open the cheat database. And then go to your system file and make sure on the file name it says user cheat. Open it and you should have the game in there. Um, if you don't, this is when I'm going to explain how to put it in. Now, to put in your codes, um, go to code, then press add game. Then it'll tell you to input the game name here. So now, your game name goes here, and under it, your ID. To find your ID, go where you see the binoculars, click on it, and make sure um, you go into your games folder. This is where you download all those ROMs, so you should get a whole list of it right here. <clears throat> click on any one so like if you want Pokemon Diamond that's what I'm using click on it um, click on OK here um, is the game ID and then just copy and paste it onto there once you get all the information in there it's time to add codes. Go go back to code. You have two selections to add a folder or to add a code. To add a folder is when you put several codes into one folder but um, um, for me I'm just gonna add one code if you want you could put a folder and then it's going to be a button that tells you you could just only put one code in there but that's different okay so anyway um to okay so you have to put cheat name in there and a note is um how to activate the code but you don't need it if you don't want to 
and the cheat data. Um, I got it from a site over here. Yeah, so all you do is copy and paste the code that you want um, on, um, onto there. This is what I'm going to show you um, later on. So just copy and paste that into the cheat data. When you're done with everything, don't forget to update the code. And also, um, you have to press, I mean, you have to go to file and save G database. Then you're going to have all of this here. Go to your folder where it says system. Hold on. Okay. And remember, you have to have your user cheat file in there or else it won't work. So all you do is open it and save it. Okay, so once you've finished um, saving that in the um, user cheat file, I'm going to show you one of my cheats that I used. Okay, so once you've finished, take your um, memory card out of your micro SD card and then put it in your R4 get your DS or your DS Lite put it in there now turn the system on So once you have that, you're going to have a um, place where it says cheat Y and cheat. Cheat Y is or like are the regular cheats that came with it. Others from the action replay. Yeah, so that's all of them. And yeah, so this cheat is the ones that um, I put on. Okay. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to show you the Pokemon modifier code. Okay, and now press save and exit. Start the Pokemon Diamond game. Okay, so once the whole game is loaded, um, you just go in near a patch of grass right here. So now you have to press L and R, okay, and go in your bag. You have 493 heart scales. Toss it as many as you want. That's the number of what your Pokemon will be. Just toss out 15. Now, the number of the Pokemon is 478. Okay, to activate it, press L.
and you should get um, a level 100 frost last. Okay, so um, basically that's about it. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Thanks.